Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are up here on field 10. This is our last field of fertilizer to get going on. I currently have course place set up, and we're going to get them rocking and rolling here. <clears throat> Perfect. So we have gotten... Um, pop up here so we have gotten all of our other fields done uh, 50 field 1 field 28 field 9 and then now we are over here on field 10 so we're gonna let him get rolling on that and meanwhile our versatile 935 is over here on our Great Plains 83 360 field cultivator so we're going to go ahead and get rolling on this and uh, we're going to see what we can, okay, we don't need to be going quite that fast. I think nine is about good there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get going on this and uh, get some of this tillage done. Uh, we've only got three fields to till. Uh, we've got field 50 here, and then we have, uh, oh, we're gonna go way into the grass, but that's all right. And then we have uh, nine and 10 that we are going to run over with the Great Plains. And then we'll uh, get this brought back to the farm and unhooked. And we're going to get hooked up to our anhydrous toolbar. And we are going to put anhydrous down in fields 1 and 28 because those are going to be going into corn ground in the spring. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that done. And uh, we do have our toolbar set up to cultivate, so we uh, won't have to run over it with the Great Plains at all, which will be a nice thing. Our farm is definitely starting to come along. Slowly, but surely. So we'll have a few videos of uh, what we'll have today. And then tomorrow's video will be cultivating. And then uh, the next video after that, uh, we'll be putting down some anhydrous for a couple videos. And then... Uh, then we'll be selling some grain, and well, moving some snow probably as well. Uh, we will have a little bit of that to do, so that way we can sell our grain. So we'll be uh, doing a little bit of everything here. I do, uh, I do really like this cultivator. This is actually the first time I've used this uh, particular cultivator, so kind of uh, new for me here. We're definitely kicking up a little bit of dust. That is for sure. Get lined up here for our next pass. This is also my first time using this tractor. Um, really, really liking this. 
I see we have a flexicoil monitor in here. So that'll work out perfect once uh, the uh, flexicoil drill comes out. Another achievement unlocked. Haven't really been paying attention to them, but I see that I get them. That's about the extent of it. See, we can turn around this monster without hitting anything. Pretty sure we're hitting the tongue of it on the duels, but that I can live with. It's better than uh, smacking the fence or anything like that. We'll get around here this second time and then uh, we'll run it on some GPS and knock this field out today. And then we'll uh, potentially get up to another field. Fertilizer spreader should be probably pretty close to done. I don't think he uh, was going to take all that long on that field. So we are going to have weeds back in our fields by the time we get in to start planting. But that's all right. We'll uh, plant and then we'll uh, till them under with our planters and then take care of uh, spraying them next summer. Go ahead and start knocking this field out. We'll go ahead and pop our HUD back on. Yep, and he just finished. Talk about perfect timing. So now the truck from the co-op is just about empty. So we'll probably be able to uh, dump the rest of it into our spreader and then send it back. Uh, whatever we don't use, the co-op will credit us uh, back for that. So if we don't use it all, we don't use it all. It's not that big of a deal, but... I would like to uh, get it all into our spreader because I think we're going to put our fertilizer down with the planters this year or next, well, this spring, I should say. Uh, I think we're just going to do it that way. I don't think we're going to use the spreader at all, so uh, we will go through a little more fertilizer. Uh, with our planters than we did last year but that is going to be just fine
Yeah, this is a good looking setup. I like the way that this uh, looks here. And this versatile is really very well done. But uh, that's no surprise. Julian F. Modding uh, has never disappointed on any of his uh, mods over the years. He is definitely very good at what he does. There is no doubt about that. I would uh, love to be able to do the quality of work that he does. If I remember correctly, Julian F. Modding has been around Oh, I know he was in 17 and 19, pretty sure even in 15. He's been around for quite a while. He's kind of one of the farm sim modding OGs, if you will. And uh, he's even expanded into doing a little bit of mapping. Um such as the Ohio Richlands map, uh, which is also very well done. I have done a little bit of playing on it. Oh, it turned a little too wide there. Uh, I have played on it a little bit, not a whole terrible lot, but uh, I have played on it some, and I've seen a lot of guys doing videos on it as well. Um, so... I've seen a few own the map challenge video series uh, going on on it, and uh, it's definitely a very nice map. I will uh, at some point have to kind of check it out a little more, maybe do a little playing on it. Uh, not as like a series or anything, but just kind of a little save game on my own to kind of dink around on when I'm not doing videos on but I kind of tend to focus more on this save game and then uh, mine and my roommates multiplayer save game as well so So we are down to just under $44,700, so we're still sitting pretty well. Um, we've got a few months, and we'll make a little bit of money, not a whole lot, but it should be enough to get us through. Hopefully we won't have to uh, have any meetings with the bank about loaning us some more money. We are already uh, $500,000 in debt to the bank. I think 505000 if I remember correctly. Yeah, $505,000. So we do owe a little bit of money, but we will be slowly but surely paying that off as we go. I mean, of course, we are paying on it every day uh, a little bit, but not a huge amount. So hopefully as we move forward, we'll be able to uh, start making some payments and get that loan paid down then we uh, we have a little more room for negotiation with the bank uh, for in the future should we need to borrow money in the future if we uh, decide to upgrade some equipment and things like that
we'll get this field done and then we'll be able to uh, move over to field 9 is where we're going to go next. And it's going to be the uh, next task at hand here. Boy, that lime dust is just sticking to this cultivator here. Hopefully we'll be able to make it uh, through to spring. We'll see. Especially with us running field work, we are going to have uh, maintenance costs and fuel. Although I think we are still sitting pretty well on fuel. I haven't checked our fuel barrel lately, but we haven't gone through a whole terrible amount of fuel. So we should still be pretty good on them. Diesel fuel. The only thing that I'm really all that worried about us uh, going through a lot of is, uh, or I guess I'll rephrase that, that I'm worried about spending a lot of money on is our maintenance costs, things like that, but we don't necessarily need to be repainting everything every time either. Um, I think that's one thing that we're going to kind of hold off on for now is repainting. That's where a lot of our money goes. And a lot of our money is going to go into that tank right there as well as we uh, get into putting anhydrous down. And uh, I think we might actually get by with just the one, well, we'll probably have another video of tillage yet because we do still have the two fields to go. And by the time we get up to field nine there and get started on it, we are going to be uh, running out of time. taking out the uh, sign there. We're going to head up north here. Let's keep this thing in our lane here. So I've been kind of tossing the idea back and forth on uh, whether or not to buy two header trailers. We are for sure going to need the one. Uh, that is a definite given because uh, we are going to need to transport our headers next fall. But I'm not sure if I want to just buy one or if I just want to say screw it and we just get two of them. Uh, that way we don't have to play a musical trailer. Holy smokes, I did not see that car coming up that hill. We almost had a wreck. So when we get over here to field nine, we are going to go ahead and uh, set up a course play course just so that way we have it for in the future. I try to do that uh, anytime that I take a piece of equipment to a field for the first time. And beans, we have a lot of new fields up here. Uh, we are definitely going to need to record some courses here. So we are going to go ahead and get unfolded. So we do still have our Kenworth just uh, chilling up here. Uh, we will run that into the yard. 
Uh, I'll probably do that off camera. I'll run it into the yard and get it. Um, see if I can get it emptied. And delete that and then let's bring up our GPS we're gonna want to crank that 90 degrees there so we'll go ahead and get rolling on this and then uh, yeah, so off camera, I'll get that truck taken back to our yard and uh, see if I can empty the rest of it into our spreader. And then uh, we'll be set with that guy. Um, and I'll get the spreader and tractor cleaned up, put away. And then I'm going to... Uh, I'll finish whatever we have left of this field and I'll probably either do all of field 10 or I'll do a majority of it and then we'll get it finished up in tomorrow's video and I will uh, um, come back when we're just about done with it that way we can uh, finish it up tomorrow and then we'll get started on some anhydrous work it's going to be a long and tedious task having to uh, stop every so often unhook hook our tank up to our pickup drive back to the yard fill it run it back, hook it back up. It'll take some time, but uh, it'll definitely help boost our corn yield next fall if we uh, take care of our ground properly. Like I mentioned before, hopefully with us um, running the corn and oats this year, or this next year, uh, hopefully we'll get some decent yields and uh, be able to um, advance our farm further, hopefully with some more land and some more uh, more bin space as well as we get into that. But we shall see. Maybe we'll even look into getting another yard um, and expanding our fleet some more. That would definitely be a uh, good thing to do as well. So we're gonna go down here to the end and continue around the field we're definitely getting a good start on this field in this video which is very good. Glad to be uh, getting through all of our tasks that we have that we got to get done this fall yet.
running into that field a little bit. Oops. My bad neighbor. Another thing I do really like about this tractor is that the uh, sounds are seem to be fairly realistic. Um, I haven't been around an old versatile like this in years, so I don't I couldn't tell you if it's a hundred percent. But I know my uh, grandfather used to have one. Uh, him and his brother they used. I don't remember exactly what model it is because I. I haven't seen that tractor since I was a kid, but they had a uh, older versatile four wheel drive. They used that for their uh, air seeder is what they used that on. And uh, so they had that, but it's been years since I've seen that tractor. I mean, it's been Probably a good, oh, I want to say seven or eight years since, uh, uh, maybe it hasn't been that long. I know it's been at least five years, probably longer since my grandfather retired from farming. So, it's definitely been a while. Perfect. So we'll get uh, going on this guy here pretty, pretty well actually. So I am uh, glad for that. Definitely moving right along. Having this big monster to uh, pull these machine, pull this equipment, and uh, do things at a nice pace with a very good amount of power that definitely helps I think this tractor is going to remain a workhorse on this farm for many years to come even if it just gets reduced down to pulling a land roller when we get a bigger roller I think it would uh, run that pretty well too We'll go ahead and get uh, this little piece here off to the side finished up and then I think we'll go ahead and call her a day. Perfect, we'll do this last uh, little piece here and then I will get the rest of it finished off camera. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it. Like I said, I'll finish up this field and I'll get a uh, good portion of field 10 there done as well. And then uh, I'll get that truck emptied and get it taken back to the co-op and get that... Uh, spreader and international cleaned up fixed up and put away and that way when we come back tomorrow we can finish up the last little bit of tillage get this set up uh, well 
get this cultivator cleaned up and fixed and put back away and then we'll get hooked on to the anhydrous rig and uh, get going on that we got two fields of that to take care of we'll probably start up here on field 28 uh, we'll probably start with our furthest field and then work our way back home so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that thumbs up button and uh, we'll catch you all later in tomorrow's video thanks for watching